Hi everyone, it's Danny. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing my December daily foundation pages. I know I'm super behind on this and I apologize. I've done my best this year and you know, I think we're all struggling a little bit with um, timekeeping. Well, a lot of us are. So I finished these a few days ago, so I am going to flip through and share. This is an Echo Park 6x8 ring bound or D-ring album. Um, it's about two inches wide at the spine. It's not the fattest one I've ever had, but certainly a decent size. It's really beautiful wood grain with white snowflakes on it. I really loved how neutral it was. I got this well over a year ago from scrapbook.com. It was on clearance then, so it's probably not available, uh, but that's what I'm using. So um, I always keep an eye out after Christmas for things that are on clearance and I grab them if I think they'll suit me for the next year's December daily. So let's open her up. And some of these are quite um, detailed. Some of them are very minimal. Um, some I haven't really put any effort into at all. So uh, just so you know, going in, that's what the deal is. So this is the first thing I have. And this is like my kind of reason why. And what I've done is I've gone ahead and stuck a uh, four by six, I think, pocket. So I've just cut a four by six pocket off of a pocket page and stuck it to the inside of my cover with uh, red, red line tape. This this stuff, I don't know if it's the same brand, but that's what I have. And then I've cut a half circle notch out of the top to make the tag easier to slip in and out of the pocket. Can't speak today apparently. So this is the tag I have made so far. Uh, I'm using mostly the Cocoa Vanilla Studio Joyful Collection, the new Christmas collection from this year, and the Crepe Paper Busy Sidewalk, so a combination of the two. Um, they go really nicely together. These are alphas from Kaisercraft in this coral colour, which matches this uh, ready coral in the Cocoa Vanilla Studio collection really nicely. So I've cut a big tag, I've put these Christmas alphas on, and the back is just blank. But I've cut my, or oh, I've printed my journaling out on, it, it's hard to see, but it is actually, <laughs> it's not gonna focus. It is actually patterned. You can see it's got that grid, uh, slight grid pattern. So this is from the Crepe Paper Collection. And I've just printed out a bunch of my journaling so that it will fit on this tag. And I'm going to cut that down a little more when I get to it probably and just kind of stick it in the middle on the back of this tag. But that's like my reason uh, for documenting. And then on the front, this memories is going to go across the front of the pocket because it's too wide for the tag, obviously. So uh, I've also lost my numbers somewhere. So once the tag is in the pocket, I can stick memories across the across the front of the pocket and that won't impede, you know, the tag coming in and out. So that's what I am planning for there. I also have die cut these little two fives for 25 Christmas memories. So that will probably go on the inside of the tag. That's my plan. But for the moment, they can just sit in there. Okay, onto the title page. <laughs> This video is probably going to be really long. I'll try to make it as brief as possible. So I have a pocket protector here just to hold my items, but it will be out of the page. So I'm using this pattern paper from Coco Vanilla Studio. And I have this beautiful um, wood veneer ornament that I found at the reject shop. It's a really big, like really big wood veneer ornament. Um, I cut the, the string off it and I'm going to use that as like my decor for this page. And then I have also cut this little um, December 2020 piece it's 2020 because i'm documenting last year um, i don't like to document the current christmas because it it gets a little hectic trying to print photos and you know organize everything so that's up on a bit of foam and then i think i'm just going to put that across the middle that's the plan at the moment that's all i have for that page but i want to keep it kind of simple just to start so i was thinking about embossing this or something but i haven't decided yet so i'm just leaving that as is um, i've also got little sticky notes throughout to kind of guide what I was planning when I made those foundation pages. So that um, is just going to be punched in. I will add some hole reinforces, but the back side isn't done yet. Cause I'm actually probably gonna do a full page photo here and stick it straight on the back. So I have here day one tree, so probably just a full page photo, I'll leave that as it is. Uh, this is gonna be day two, our Christmas elf. So I've just put this little wood veneer reindeer in here. I know I have at least two photos for this day. So I've added an insert with four inserts and then this just has, it says tis the season four and then like a list from Coco Vanilla. Um, I'm trying to keep the double page spreads down as much as possible to hopefully reduce bulk. So I'm trying to just keep um, one day to each page as much as possible. There are a few where I have a double page, but I'm trying not to do that too much. Okay. So day three is going to be putting up the Christmas decorations. So I've just left that backside blank because I don't really know uh, how many photos I'm going to use. Uh, on this day, I'm going to have a full page photo of our Christmas tree. So I've just left that blank. 
uh, this is day five I'm losing my sticky notes so I've cut out a full page out of the page protector of this really pretty embossed it's like relief embossed paper from Kaiser Craft that a friend gave me. It's all little florals. And I thought that would go really nicely with this wreath. So this is just part of one of the 12 by 12 Cocoa Vanilla Studio papers. It's a full wreath. I just cut out this section, fussy cut it all out, and I'm going to adhere that um, not as far over to the edge, a little bit more inside. And then I've got a photo to pop in here. Um, I was also thinking of maybe doing some inking on the raised parts of this, but I'm going to have to practice that before I commit. So I've just kind of put a note on my little sticky note. Okay, this page is supposed to be, uh, what have I got, journaling. So I'm just going to put some journaling for this day in here. So this is, this is a 3 by 8 <laughs> page protector. It's got a little, like, one and a half or two inch little piece up here and then a bigger pocket at the bottom. So I'm going to put some journaling in there and, you know, I'll figure the rest out when I get there. Uh, this day 6 is going to be my son at Bunnings. I've got a picture of him at Bunnings um, well, you'll see when the day comes anyway, but I'm planning on putting that there and then I have this little bit extra to put like a title or some journaling for that day. And then I have this foundation page I made, which is just a, I hand drew the tree cut out and cut it out. And uh, so this is Cocoa Vanilla Studio Paper. I took one of my script stamps and just stamped it that really, uh, I inked it up really unevenly. So it would give that kind of uneven, um, kind of vintage weathered i can't think of the word i'm looking for but you guys know what i mean i really like that um in it's distress oxide the newer green color that came out i used it last year what's it called russic wilderness i love that color for christmas it's perfect and then the inside flips open i've got uh two photos of my kids at kindy um my son wasn't in kindy this year but i've got a photo of them both in the lobby with the tree so i'm going to put photos of them inside here I might do like a little circular moment I'm not sure I haven't decided um, but that's gonna go outside there so that's day seven so that will be a double page because it's kind of um, small and then we flip over that's sticking a little bit because I have uh, I've actually put some texture paste on this side of that tree so I don't know whether you can see because my lights aren't actually on I'll try and catch it but it's gold paste from color blast and bling um, which was dried out. Well, it was really dried out. Um, I think it's on its last leg, so that's why it's uh, kind of sticky. But I just did these little stars all over the back of the tree just for a little something extra. Done quite a bit of this texture paste. Um, I was really enjoying it. Day eight is going to be our Christmas elf thing. Uh, we don't do elf on the shelf, it's different. So I'm just going to document that on this day. I've also done some little tabs because this is from the A5 paper stack. So you can see it's not quite um, as wide as 6x8. So this just kind of brought it out a little bit further. I just really wanted to use this paper. And I don't mind that it doesn't go quite to the edge. I might sew some ribbon or something along the edge. That might be fun. Day nine is the last day of school. I want to do a full page photo of myself and my son on the back here. So I haven't done anything uh, special to it and I'm going to sandwich these tabs in between those two layers. Day 10 I have some pictures of my daughter under the tree or playing with the Christmas tree I think so I've done a big pocket up the top and two three by fours here so I can add one or two photos down here and then I've got this big chipboard Christmas um, from Cocoa Vanilla in the top pocket. Don't know if this will go on the outside of the pocket or on the inside. Um, I'll add some more to it as well but that's just kind of a very basic foundation page. It just gives me somewhere to start. So some of these are nearly finished and some of them are just just one little item that will help inspire me. So this day 11 is our Christmas cards and I don't have anything in for decoration for this day. Um, I know the big picture is probably going to go up here. So I've got that to start and then I have a couple of options. I've got a lot of options for embellishing um, when I get to this page. All right, this is one of my more finished um, foundation pages. So I've done a pocket page with the two inch pockets. There are 12 which is a lot. So I've made sure that this is a day where I have a lot of photos. So this is the Christmas Wonderland, the lights display we went to. Um, I've done this uh, both sides in preparation. So you can see up here I have a chipboard gold star. I've done one on the back exactly the same. This little circular embellishment or sticker um, has another one the same size on the back. I haven't adhered them yet though, so that's just ready. Um, and this one will have a photo in it, so it doesn't matter that the white is showing through from the back. I've got a wood veneer in here that says love. Now that will not say love from the back, but I think it still looks nice from either side, so I'm not too worried about it being backwards. I just don't want like raw chipboard or um, like just a plain white shape on the back uh, when I do these see-through pockets. 
So here I have some stickers, some frayed stickers from Cocoa Vanilla. The gold foiled ones are so beautiful. And I've done similar size ones on the back. They're not perfect, but if I trim a little bit off the front, it would be, and I'm not too worried about that. Uh, again, down here with the stickers, these are Cocoa Vanilla again. I've done two squarish ones, so you can see this one doesn't quite fit inside this one. Uh, but my plan is just to snip the corners off this and then have a whiteboard around it, which is fine. I'm perfectly happy with that. And then down here, again, just two little fishtail banners that will go back to back really nicely. I haven't stuck those down either because I'm thinking maybe hang them from the top or from the side. I don't know. We'll decide later. So that side obviously is done. Um, this is going to be a couple of... Uh, it's not a spread, so it's going to be like a three-page. <laughs> this is going to be like a three-page spread. So this side this side and this page which is going to be um what did i want to do i've got a photo a really beautiful photo of one of the trees that i want to put there um so you can see i punched it wrong i don't have enough of this page this paper to cut another one and throw this one away and i really want this color so i'm probably just going to sew some ribbon i have some opaque ribbons for this year uh, so I've got this one, which is really pretty. So if I sew this and kind of fold it over and sew it down the side, you won't be able to see it. I've also got a burlap one that is the one I was actually thinking of using, but it's gone missing. All right, so this one, um, this is one I'm thinking of using. So I can cut that down, or I can fold it in half, or I can just have it hang off the edge and that will cover up those holes. So I'm really not worried about that missed punch. And the reason I couldn't just flip it over is because the back side is these trees and I want to use these trees. So uh, if I'd flipped it over, the trees would have been upside down on this side. So you see the problem. So I'm just gonna live with it and deal with it. This side is going to be uh, a photo of me and my family. Um, this is just a little bit of vellum. Um, I just liked, I had a bit of extra left over. So I was experimenting with a new stencil. It's super messy. I mean, it looks nice from a distance, which is all I really care about. If you get up close, you can see that bits of the stencil actually came off the stencil. So it's like a bluish teal colored stencil and it actually like pulled bits of the color of the stencil off, mainly because the paste was super dried out. Like it was going on super tacky and it's not a perfect stencil by any means. There's smeared bits, really awful stenciling but it looks pretty um, and it's really shiny metallic gold which I'm trying to I'm trying to include lots of metallic elements this year I've also punched an extra hole here in the wrong place which I didn't mean to but I don't think it's super noticeable um, I'm probably just gonna leave it to be honest so yeah um, I'm using it just as like a pretty insert I'm happy with that right this is just stuck in here because I don't know where I'm gonna put it but I really like this tree acetate piece so I fussy cut it out so I've just put it in on top of a three by eight insert it's not attached or anything it's just kind of sticking there um probably going to put it on that day but i just want it in the album so i know i want to use it and i remember i also i meant to i really want to use some of these chipboard pieces i totally forgot about that so i'm going to pull these out and put them on my desk now so i can go and do them um but i really want to pull off this title i'd quite like to use these ornaments if i can and i really want to use this tree so i'm going to pull these out and put them throughout the album somewhere um anyway that's for afterwards i just wanted to mention i also have these acetates so this is the rest of the sheet this came off so i'm going to fussy cut this probably the christmas title I just really like this pine bough um, probably the holly and these little leaves and um see if i can squeeze them in throughout the album um just a full three by eight i have a photo of um our christmas fruits our summer fruits that i always like to include one of my favorite things about Christmas. Um, so I just put a prompt there that I want to put up. Um, that will probably just be a full photo there to be totally honest. And the back, I have not added anything because I think that'll be journaling because on this side, I want to do a full page photo of my daughter at Kindy. Now this page is pretty much finished. Um, it's really close to finished. I did a lot of work on this one. So I've cut an out of the page, full page sheet from one of the crepe paper papers great paper papers say that a few times fast um i really like the trees in the background and then i have this cut file from copa cut files so it's the gingerbread house 2 it's the second variation of a gingerbread house she's done and i've used probably a mix of the crepe paper and the um cocoa vanilla studio collections but that's that's my little cut file house how cute is it so cute i can't even deal with how cute it is so i have um, also cut out the outline of this twice and then welded it together so it opens like a little book. And my plan is to stick this like on the background. Okay. And then stick this on the front. 
and then have it open open like a little book and then have pictures inside um so what i will need to do is crease these bits where you know it overlaps on the back so that it will turn properly so i'm just going to do that when i get there um, after i've glued it all down i'll just score a line so you can open it um, but i'm really looking forward to that i really like that little touch so i've just got that paper clipped in at the top there uh, this purge, I don't actually have a day ready for this. So I've just left this little insert with the two three by fours in it. And I like this card as a prompt. So I'm just going to leave it here. Um, but whether I use it or not is, you know, that will come later. This is kind of a filler page, but I love how this looked. I totally copied this off someone else. Um, I'm not sure. It might have just been a picture I saw on Pinterest. Um, but it was a bit of vellum. And they've done it pretty much exactly like this with a title in the middle and... Um, clear stickers all the way around the outside and I thought that's a perfect use of my clear stickers because I struggle with these every single year So I've used a bunch of the crepe paper ones out of the little Sticker book with this little guy. So there's lots of um, clear stickers in here and they're all quite small So I've just gone all the way around the edge and added a bunch of the ones that I didn't think I'd be able to use on any other page so like these um, oranges and cinnamon sticks and like the reindeer and like hot cocoa and just lots of little Christmassy bits and pieces and then I went through at the end and added all these tiny little uh, foliage bits and little snowflakes to fill in all the gaps and I really love how it looks especially with this big gold title from Coco Vanilla Studio. Sun's just gone away sorry it got really dark. All right I put on a light so hopefully it's not too bright but that gold from that Coco Vanilla Studio title is just perfect with it and a lot of these gold foiled so yeah you can see that I'm really really happy with how this looks this is probably going to move because this is going to be a really busy page and this is quite busy um, but I've just got it in here for now now this day all I have is a chipboard piece um, and it's not really relevant to the photo I want to use here so I don't know whether I'll use that but it's there to give me you know an idea of where to start this page is for going to Empire's house. So I have a couple of photos of the kids for that day. So I've just got 18 and 19 because these two pages are pretty much blank. I don't really know what I want to do. Um, uh, it's nearer the end of getting closer to Christmas. So I just wanted to leave this kind of, kind of blank and just give myself a bit of breathing room here. Probably be pretty simple pages, these ones. This is day 20. This is going to see the Christmas lights, or memory 20, I should say. Going to see the Christmas lights um, in the neighborhood. So I put this little acetate transparency photo cover thing, which has the um, gold foiled string lights across. So I've got a photo that can go in behind here. So that will probably just be that whole page. And then some decorative photos down the bottom. Then I just have another three by eight insert in here uh, in case I want to use it. I don't think I actually have a plan for that, that, that insert though. Um, this day is day with friends. Uh, I've got quite a few photos, so I just kind of left that empty. Like I said, it's getting it's getting emptier as we get towards the end of the year and I'm running out of ideas for foundation pages, but um, that's good because I have all these extra things I want to add in now. Um, this day I've left as a double page spread because uh, I want to do a full page photo here. So I've just literally put a page protector with a sticky on it. Um, to tell me it's going to be a full page photo so it'll be outside of the page protector but that gives me a, a spot to note um, this side will be day 22 as well so just us baking cookies I have a lot of photos from that day um, I love baking cookies with the kids it's one of my favorite things all right this day is day 23 so that is uh, Christmas market so I have a couple of things I'm not sure what's going on the back of here yet I may do just like a decorative page this is a day we spent with friends. I have a 2 4 by 6 photo page protector in there. Um, again, just pretty blank. Then I have um, Christmas Eve. So this will be a double page. We do a lot on Christmas Eve. Um, I have photos earmarked for this side. And then on this side, I have a... This is like a long one and two 3 by 4s I have this little wood veneer in here. It's probably not going to go in this pocket, but it's just... Um, a holding place so cute little tree with gold glitter and a christmas eve card cocoa vanilla i really like that i'll probably jazz that up a little bit with some stitching or some pen or embossing or something we'll see when we get there uh then this is christmas day so again that same page protector i just wanted to do it back to back so i have um just consistency and i want to use both these cards so this is christmas day and then um that's the back of that so that'll probably be different i have some ideas for photos i want to do this day and then i'm ending uh, on a another two by two 
insert because Christmas Day had so many photos this year. So many photos. So I'm thinking this will mostly be photos and then I'll just fill in any empty spots with some cute embellishments. And then over the back, this is going to be my last page. So this is either going to be more photos, depending how many I have left over, or I'm just going to cut a piece of pattern paper that I really like and just cut it into squares and have that like just as a, an ending page um, and just have it like as a grid. So I was thinking like this one would be really cute if I just cut a square and then just chop it up into squares and kind of stick it in so you can see the pattern but it's a little bit different because um, it's really busy to use as a background. Something like that. Or I'll just do more photos. We'll see. Um, now this is just, this is just here to hold um, these bits. So I haven't decided what day this will go on. Um, that's why it's just shoved in the back and I also haven't cut it down to size yet. That's why it's sort of just shoved in the back. Uh, I don't want to punch the holes yet because I don't know what side I want which on. <laughs> but I'll just explain what this is. Um, I totally borrowed this off Ali Edwards. It was one of her foundation page ideas this year. So I really like that idea. I'm pretty sure she used acetate hearts. I like the idea. So I have taken these two pattern papers. It's going to go something like this. I just haven't cut this back one to size yet because I don't know. I don't want to have overhang. So I don't want to trim this until it's glued down. And I can't do that till later. I'll show you why. <laughs> I'm not explaining this very well. So it's going to go outside of the page protector punched in on that side which is why this side is a little bit thicker to give me well, a little bit wider to give me room for holes. It's going to go like this. It's going to be like a little windowed moment and then the other side will be the candy stripe. I really like that. So the idea is I mean everyone's seen variations of this but basically you have your little string of bits like that. Okay. I have used little ornaments from Copa Cut Files. So these are, I think it's the stitched ornaments cut files. So I've used the ornaments and just like not use the stitching part. Cut those out, back them with pattern paper. I've used a mix of both the collections I'm using. And then I've adhered these little stars and I've done them back to back. That one needs a bit of a trim actually. It's not perfect. But uh, I've just glued them to gold thread and then they will go kind of like that and hang between and then you adhere either side. So it kind of traps the, the bits in between and then you've got like this hanging moment which is kind of cute. I've never made this before because I was already always a bit worried about um, things getting caught and ripped uh, because I was in a traveler's notebook but this year I'm in a, in a proper album so I'm a bit more... Um, I'm trusting a, a little bit more, less cautious. <laughs> That's what I'm after. And so the back I've left empty because I would like to put some photos on the back of these. So that's the plan. I've done four ornaments. so I can do one photo of each of us in my family. Um, and then the other side will kind of be, yeah, the, the photos, which I think is cute. And this is like a gold thread. So it's pretty, it's pretty tough. Um, hopefully it will hold up. If it doesn't, I can always pull it apart and do it again. But that's the idea. So that will be that will be fun. So I haven't stuck these in yet because I, I want to be able to put the photos on without it being like stuck in already because I'll have to trim around. And yeah, so I am not going to actually put this page together until I've got my photos printed and um, on here. And then I'll put it all together and punch the holes and put it in. So that's why it's just kind of hanging out here. I haven't got any day specifically put aside for this page. This is just going to go in wherever. Um, it can fit really, but that's that. That's the foundation pages. Um, pretty, pretty minimal in parts, but gives me a place to start. I'm going to start cracking on this now while I, you know, before December is finished. Well, I hope that was enjoyable for a few of you at least. And I really hope you enjoyed joining me today. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye guys.